Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Notions One here. Just doing a part two review of my five gig hash a second ASIC Butterfly Labs miner, which I received today. The uh, power brick is actually a uh, AC adapter because it converts right. It's a hundred to uh, two forty volt, two amp, and it looks like a pretty generic one made in China. There's also a few more things I need to tell you about this. This has a lifetime warranty. It, but if you you may you probably know about these things and that you can update the firmware to ones that aren't actually produced by Butterfly Labs themselves and they are produced by software developers and uh, it can make it minor I think 8 gigahash a second off the top of my head but if I had it on here it just does 6.5 gigahash a second or just over on average as you can see there it was well up over nearly 8 then right this would probably do nine and a half giga hash, ten giga hash at a push, but I am not going to do that because it invalidates the warranty. The main board, motherboard within this, has a warranty. So do that at your own risk. Note at your own risk. Update the firmware. I am not doing it. And this, the USB cable that plugs into the back of the miner, is a mini USB. It's a mini USB. The standard USB cable is what you need. If if for some reason you lose the one that comes with it, or whatever, really. And the power, this the circle, just like a laptop charging a jack, DC jack, goes into the back, and this plugs in to the uh, AC adapter via the two the two prong the two prong uh, lead that connect has the plug on the end uh, what else can I say about this still mining away it's at 50 what does that say 52 degrees as you can see it's well ventilated so air can get to the back of it air can get Sorry, air can get to the uh, back of air can get to the front of it because the front is here and the back is here. This is the back because the ports are here. And you got the serial number there and serial number 14 pounds and something. And the model, which is BF 0005G. Right. Uh, some more things you will need a bitcoin wallet for this i use blockchain it's blockchain.info write blockchain in google it will come up you need an identifier and a password i'm not gonna show you my password obviously i don't want people getting into my wallet and stealing my bitcoins but uh i think i'm more to say because this is part two and it should be filled with stuff to say anyway right now the Bitcoin price is high so you, you're gonna make a little bit of money but you ain't gonna make a fortune let's be honest this is a 5 giga hash miner there's miners that are 60 giga hash there's even a 100 giga hash I saw one the other day they wanted uh, Butterfly Labs want 28,000 pounds for it this cost me uh, 215 pounds plus 46 pound import tax but if I live in America I wouldn't have had to pay that import tax obviously and it would have cost me three hundred and sixty two dollars was it and the exchange rate works out at two one five pound for that as you can see there right it says pick can that's my uh, HD 7870 and I've got a Core i5 2500K CPU both of them reason GPU mining, no point anymore. 
fights for electric totally totally outweighs the productivity of using it as a miner and, and CPU, mi CPU mining in this use is anyway you get about 8 not even that like killer hash a second 5 killer hash a second or 7 or 4 cores of the 2500k pick on that will do about 780 mega hash a second not bad I had another I had another 7870 high definition it was a uh, uh, what was it? Uh, XFX, but it only had one fan. It was very loud, but that was pushing out 440 mega a second. That was back if, back about a year ago when I first started mining, maybe more than a year ago. And I had two in SLI. I had this pick on in SLI, sorry, Crossfire with it, and it was pushing out about 850 mega a second, like nearly a terror. Uh, Giga hash a second that is, which is which was quite a lot back then, and I was making a little bit of money out of selling 0.1s on eBay. Yeah, so it's bit bit min bit min to client 2.4.2 does the job. Seems to do the job nicely. Links up to your uh, your wallet from the internal settings of Bitminter as you can see there that's my wallet address there if you want to pause the video here and send me some bitcoins I'd really appreciate it only joking I make videos for no money because I like making videos as you might be able to tell and it's a bit of detail but not loads of detail it's got name coins which is something to do with registering domain names top level TLD top level domain names and I'm not too sure much more about them whether you can sell them or what you do with them after look into that a bit uh, it says MSC down here which is off because I don't know what it is I set the threshold so when it rolls over to 0 0.01 they'll pay 0 0.01 BTC Bitcoin into said wallet pay to address on its own without doing a thing and as I said in the previous video this should do 0 0.01 in about a day and a quarter day and a third something like that uh, that will do for this video hope you've enjoyed watching it I will probably make an update in a couple of weeks see how I get on cheers and look out for my bitcoins on ebay I'll be selling 0.01s if you're interested like and subscribe again if you wish. Cheers. Bye.